everyone and welcome to Leah's Cross Stitch Corner I know you've all been asking about me so I'm here look I'm here I mean I'm a bit excited because I'm going for a walk dad's over there so that's why I'm looking over there but no 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 hey look over <laughs> but I wanted to say hello I don't want to say hello anymore I'm going now okay bye bye <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Leah's Cross Stitch Corner. I was going to say this is floss tube number 37 with Summer, but turns out she's got other plans. <laughs> uh, I know everybody's been asking about her, so I just wanted to get, get her to say hello. I knew she wasn't going to last long, but it was long enough. I've probably got a scratch arm now, but that's okay. The perils of doing business. That's what floss tube's all about, isn't it? <sighs> it's whip parade time once again. I've got the door open so you might hear Summer and Graham actually going out. Um, oh, press start, that would help. I don't know how long I've been going. If you can hear, I've been ill. <laughs> I caught Graham's lurgy. Well, I don't actually think I caught Graham's lurgy because it's like a week late. But I went to my mum's before I shot my last flush tube. And then the Friday after I shot the flush tube, I went to get my implant replaced, which by the way was easy peasy. I way overthought that um, and then I came down I was a bit ill on the Friday on the Thursday I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I came down like on the Thursday the Friday I was feeling pretty terrible and I'm just recovering now <laughs> so I was fit as a fiddle I was it was true I was fit as a fiddle until I wasn't and now I'm not anymore because I'm still ill so I'm shooting this on Saturday I the 13th? I feel like it's the 13th today. 12 plus 7 is 19, which is when Taylor's new album comes out. Yeah, it's the 13th today. I usually do it on a Sunday, but I'm going to try and maybe go for a walk tomorrow, see how I feel. I've still got a bit of a chest infection. Not Maybe not a chest infection, my chest's still a bit dodgy. I have an inhaler that I take anyway that helps me breathe sometimes on a night because I get a bit wheezy. Um, I've had me Sinex to try and clean my nostrils so I'm not going to be sniffing as much on camera and it's just been chaos. I've been so tired. I have not stitched all week. I am not even joking. The last time I stitched was last Sunday. Um, I haven't had the the wanting of it. I just haven't fancied it every time I've finished work because I've been at work all week. I've been too tired to actually stitch. So while Graham's been watching Prison Break, I have been playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> I got the Animal Crossing guidebook for Christmas off Graham. And it's a huge book. It's got tons of pages. It's got everything you need to do to finish your island. Um, so I started my island afresh. I've been playing Animal Crossing for years. I got it when it came out in 2020 on the Switch. It's called New Horizons. And you've got, you basically go to a deserted island. Tom Nook takes loads of money off of you. <sighs> He's a very greedy raccoon. And then sold me Switch when I moved in with Graham because I wasn't really playing it at the time. We then got another one and I got it again. So I created a new island and then I kind of got a bit, I just wasn't playing that either. So I was like, once I got the book, I'm going to start playing again. I'm going to follow the guidebook from start to finish. And then I'm going to go from there. So I've been playing it since, I think it was New Year's Eve that I actually started my new island. It's called Summerland. <laughs> it always used to be Swiftopia, obviously. But now it's Summerland. And um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I've got, I'm trying to get all my villagers' houses in one area where I really want them to be. And then I'm going to move the shops so they're both together. And then I'm just going to start like designing. I'm not a very good designer. I am not like... You see some of the islands and I'm just not like that. But I quite enjoy it. It's quite fun. It's good to just sit and go and fishing and catching bugs and all that other chaos. So that's what I've been doing. If you have a Switch, if you play Animal Crossing, let me know. We can become friends. I have Nintendo online so I can come and visit your island. I actually need to play it today because it's the fishing tourney. By the time this goes up it won't be, but it's Saturday and it's the fishing tourney for spring, I guess. So I need to go and do some fishing and I need to sell me turnips. So there's like this the stock market and you've got to sell your turnips. You've got to buy turnips and sell turnips. It's like the stock market, obviously. And um, I 
have some at the minute and I've been waiting for the price. It was like 182 on Wednesday and then yesterday it was like 48. So really, I shouldn't have just left it. I should have just sold them at 182, but I was hoping for 400. I was hoping for a high price because you can get a high price. <laughs> And would you believe it, somebody's decided to start hammering. It's spring now. The clocks have gone forward. So we've got a neighbour two doors up who likes to, he's got this car. It's not very special, it's a Nissan, but he likes to clean it and he likes to rev it. He's out because it's spring. The kids from two doors up, three doors up, they're out all the time screeching. What? I never screeched as a kid, by the way. I didn't screech. People are out mowing. People are out hammering. I tell you, I get to the weekend and I don't want to be doing any jobs. The biggest job we're doing today is we got the guinea pigs a run. Um, it's difficult because there's cats around in the summer. And if we feed in the guinea pigs, summer's okay. And you could like have the door open where Fluffy and Silky are like peering out. And she doesn't bother them. But like any at any minute she could kind of just turn and eat them because she is a hunting dog and she does like to hunt. So we've been looking for a run to get them where we can have them out either outside, supervised, or in the living room, supervised. And we found this shop called Omelette. And they do they do chicken runs, they do guinea pig runs, they do all sorts. Um and it, it has a roof, which is really handy. It means someone can't get in. But it also has like a skirt. So like, you can put some stones or something on it so like nobody can flip it. So we're gonna build it today. It came like last week, but we haven't had time to actually do it. We're really busy. <coughs> um, we're gonna get it built today. <laughs> I, <laughs> we, Graham's gonna build it. I will supervise while playing Animal Crossing. And then um, we can have them out for a bit of a run. Cardi is no better. So we went back to the vets and we saw the practice manager, like he owns it, he co-owns the practice and he said the treatment we're given was the right treatment for Bumblefoot but he doesn't think she's got Bumblefoot but he doesn't know what she has. So we're bathing it twice a day in Epsom salts and warm, like hot to warm water. So it's, I, I boil it hot, put the salt in, mix it up and then I put some cold in so that it, it's tepid and warm so I can put Cardi's foot in. She's no bother. She stands in there for five minutes just with that one paw. She doesn't bother at all. She doesn't mind. So um, I'm just waving my water bottle. I am planning to have a drink. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So he doesn't know what it is. He can't tell me. It's very frustrating. I feel like guinea pigs, considering they're such a widely... They're, they're as much of a pet as cats and dogs and hamsters. And yet, you know, people don't seem to know how to actually treat them. Bizarrely, vets kind of maybe don't learn that. I've, I've, I've no idea. But he couldn't give me an answer, which is not great. So, can you hear that? Somebody's mowing, I told you. It's this, it's spring, so they're mowing and they're hammering. Do you me? It's a Saturday! Enjoy your Saturday! <laughs> <laughs> um, couldn't give me an answer he only uh, he only charged us an ongoing consultation he didn't want to give any more meds because the meds didn't work they didn't even touch it he doesn't understand how the meds didn't do anything which is why he doesn't think it's Bumblefoot um, so the next option is he says it's okay to leave it for now because it's not bothering her and it's not we would know she is that kind of guinea pig who does. I know people say guinea pigs don't tell you the true feelings. She is. Trust me, she is. All of ours are. Fluffy's probably the most stoic. But Fl but Biscuit and Cardi will tell you if they're not happy. And Silky will as well. She rattles the bars like you wouldn't believe. <clears throat> so we're going to leave it for now. It isn't getting any worse. If it gets any worse, we have to go back. It was bleeding, but now it's not. Since you started doing the Epsom salts twice a day, it's not... Like the scab isn't coming off and bleeding, which is bizarre because it is getting wet, but it's not, so that's a win. Um, and the next option after that is to go in, send a swab to the lab, um, which is when I asked the price, it's a set price. All right, uh, almost like I was trying to like get catch him out by get, asking the price. Not I was just trying to know how much it's going to cost me. Um, 
She'd have to be sedated for them to do that to get a swab. But even then, that doesn't guarantee an answer because, you know, who knows what it is. It could be, he says it could be a foreign object. He says it could potentially be a tumour. I don't think it is a tumour, to be honest. Um, and then he says potentially surgery, so like the other vet said. But he said he'd be reluctant to do it. So, who even knows? I, I don't know at this point. I'm just going to see how we go with it. Um, she's not unhappy. Like I say, she's still eating, she's still drinking, she's still doing... She's able to walk on it, it's not causing her any pain at all, so we're just going to leave it for now. But I'll keep you all updated, of course. Mm. That's nice. <clears throat> Today I'm wearing my Yes, I Really Need All Of These Guinea Pigs t-shirt. So this is Floss Tuber 38. Welcome. Hi. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I tend to talk a lot first, then get into the actual content. Uh, if you don't like it, there's chapters below and you can just skip wherever you fancy. Ooh. The implant is in... Uh, it's... It wasn't painful. The nurse was absolutely fantastic. 100% fantastic. She was amazing. She put me at ease. Talk me through the entire process. Talk to me while she was doing it. It was amazing because, like, I, I've always suffered with anxiety. Um, not as bad now as I used to, and she did as well. So we like bonding. Um, but it's been sore since she put it in. So it's about a week old now. <clears throat> I don't think it's the new implant that's sore. I think it's this the old one where she had to cut to get it out. So like you know what I mean. I'm hoping it's just healing and that's why it's a little bit sore, but I'm going to keep an eye on it and if not, I'll go back and be like, can you fix it, please? It's sore. I'm also ringless. We haven't broken up, don't worry. <laughs> Obviously, I'm still here. Ugh. Though it is a running joke, right? We have had this running joke where if we ever break up, it's not ever going to happen, but it's like this whole funny thing we have, if we do, I'm like, I'll just go and live in the loft. <laughs> It's never ever gonna happen, never ever. But I've always said, I'll just go and live in the loft, you'll not get rid of me. <laughs> so I'm ringless. I've taken it to be resized. I actually just got the call before I started filming that it's ready to pick up. So if Jackie's going to Chester, I'll go ask her if she'll pick it up for me. Otherwise, I'll go next Saturday because Graham's at work. This ring here is flat underneath. So, like where it sits, it's flat. So it just sits nicely on my finger. This one has like a like a U shape, like a or an N shape, I guess. And it seems to pucker the skin up. I mean, you can probably see, maybe not, but you can probably see like the faint outline of where it's been pinching. So it's been pinching and kind of causing the skin to get like a lump, <clears throat> a really really itchy lump. Like it gets insanely itchy. Like you can't, you've got to just scratch it. So I was like, I'm going to have to get it resized. I think that's what's causing the issue. So I got that done while I was getting that implant replaced last week. So it's ready for me to pick up. And hopefully that resolves the issues. Because I haven't been able to wear it. Because it hurts. Like, it pinches. And then the, it's just hard to wear. Because the skin gets all itchy and inflamed. It's actually healed up nicely while it's been away. And I've had it off for a little bit. But... I'm hoping that resolves it. I didn't know, you know, how do you know until you get something if it's going to fit right or sit right? You know, I am the letter that we got for it, which was Q. I believe Q because it's going up to an R. And that's like an S, I think. And that's way too big. So, like, if I put it on there, it quite easily kind of comes off. So I'm hoping the R for Romeo is the correct one. I'll let you know in the next, in the magazine flip through next time. <clears throat> so we'll see. I don't have a lot to share this, this, um, this whip parade. I don't know how to, this monthly whip parade, that's what it is, Leah. <laughs> wow. I haven't made masses of progress. I haven't bought a lot. I actually, I've got a couple of things waiting to come. I've got some fabric to come. I need to see if it's the right size. Leah, you need to remember to do that after you've shot this video. I have something coming from Kate Blandford that I'm so excited. I'll show you it in my next whip parade because it's not here yet. Um, 
and I've pre-ordered Bothy Threads are doing a special Bothy Social Club box. I've pre-ordered that. It's coming in May. So you'll probably see that in the May wood parade, I would have thought. I think. But I haven't actually bought a lot, I'm not going to lie. And do you know what? I'm going to have to go on to Facebook, uh, Instagram to get who's giving me one of these things. But let's show you what we have. So I have two finishes. Let me find them. I do have a random act of kindness as well. I am going to give something away if anybody wants it. I don't know what I'll do if nobody wants it, but hey ho. So, as you know, I was stitching something. Oh, Leah! I forgot my whiteboard. Bear with me, I am going to get it because it actually causes so much chaos. So, bear with me and I'll be right back. It's just over here. Here it is. And I just need a couple of needle minders. I say it to myself every week, have you seen me jazzy pyjama pants? They're the ones, I was talking about the other ones from Next. These are the good ones. These are the ones I wear all of the time. Let me get comfortable again. I said to myself, I was like, make sure you get everything and stop being a moron. <laughs> I'll just put my needle minders on. Right, should we just pretend like I never wasn't here? <laughs> so, finishes. Oh my gosh, get out. If you remember, she says, starting again, hoping nobody's noticed, I was stitching something for Graham for Easter. Now, trigger warning, rude warning, sweary warning, it has a rude word on. <laughs> so this is the, in a world full of, mm, you're my favorite by Allerton Embroidery. I'm gonna wait to show it. I started it on the 4th of March, finished it on the 18th of March um, and it's on 28 count even weave from coffee craft fabrics who by the way no there's no point me saying it because it'll be done by the time this goes up she's got a coffee she's got a super super Sunday fabric drop tomorrow but by the time this goes up on Wednesday it'll have already happened so I'm plugging something that's already happened oh excuse me just so you know, if you want to go and find out on Facebook, Coffee Craft Fabrics, she is fantastic. If you've got a fabric you want her to dye, if you message her, Megan, she will dye it for you. She's doing me 12 pieces of fabric for the Fabulous House series um, that I can't wait to get. It should be coming any time now. I didn't. I was, I was expecting to wait ages because I only just paid for it in March, but it's coming any time now. She said she was getting it in the post a couple of days ago. She is amazing. She has these fabric drops, which are incredible. Her fabrics are so good. I have got some other fabrics, which I'll show you in my haul, that I'm not impressed with, I'm not gonna lie. The Ada, which might be why, somebody might be able to tell me, but they're a bit stiffer than I thought they would be, to be honest. But it could be because I'm more moving over to even weave, so I don't really know, but hey ho. So yeah, Coffee Craft Fabrics is fan flipping tastic So, I used some of the cold for threads, Otherwise, I used DMC Colorus. I didn't note them down. I apologise, I should have done that. And I also used some paint box thread silk for the love heart and all the flower innards. So. Da, 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 da. That's like at the beginning of a film, you know, when the... Um, do -do -do -do, do -do -do. Ba, ba, ba. In a world full of, mm, you're my favourite. I loved stitching this. I thought it was so much fun. It made me giggle every time I stitched it. And I just really, really loved it. I absolutely loved it. Hey, can you see me? Oh, yeah. I absolutely loved it. Now, we don't use this word. <laughs> we don't. We use it um, to, to say how we see it. I know somebody who is from Essex and he, they pronounce it like can't, but a faster version of it. So C-A-N-T-S. And that's how we see it. 
and I was playing the the voice note of how they say it, and it just became it just became that thing where like we just say it and just peals of laughter. So we don't say it in a serious way; we say it in a jokey way. So when we had our the usual um, proviso for when we're doing Easter gifts is it's got to be funny or rude or a bit of both. So I saw that and I was like, I have got to stitch it. And it was so much fun to stitch. Obviously, I apologise if you are offended by it. We don't mean it and we don't say it in a nasty way. It's not one of those words that we use in everyday language. I do swear. Not on my flush tube. Not on my flush tube. I, I, I think there's a time and a place. It's like, I don't swear at work. You, you, don't, you just don't do it, do you? So... <laughs> I love that and I know it's not to everyone's tastes but it makes me laugh because it reminds me of how we say it so like I say please don't be offended by any means it we just it is just it is just a bit of fun and that's how I finished it <laughs> Leah's ugly hoop box e god <laughs> fabric and then realized there wasn't enough to kind of cover all of the back again I normally like to put the felt on and then try and use the fabric to cover all of the back I don't care nobody sees it if you think it's ugly then it's ugly I'm not bothered I wish I had the time or the effort to do them I know Lucy from Hoops and Crosses does this almost like spirograph back I don't have the patience I don't have the time and I tell you what I don't have the skills if anything, if I have to ever do anything sewing wise, can't do it. I just flat out can't do it. And I'm not even going to try. I am good at cross stitch. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> so my next finish was a teeny tiny little free kit from the magazines. This was the butterfly kit from World of Cross Stitching magazine. It was issue number. Is it going to tell me or is it not? I'm looking. No, it is not going to tell me. Is it in there? Does that tell me? Making one even. It took me two. It says approximately two hours. How dare they? <laughs> it took me two days. So I started this on the 4th of April. And I finished it on the 5th of April. And here it is. To be fair, I was ill, so that's probably why it took me a little bit longer than I would have liked. It's so cute. So I've done this for Jackie. I just need to finish it off. What happened? The the it snapped. Can you? See? I don't know if you can see. It snapped. So I need to hot glue it so it's back together, so it's a proper keyring. So it's in. It's all in and ready. I just need to flatten it down with some um, hot glue. I don't know what this is. This came in with it. I can't see any reasoning behind it. I can't see anything on the instructions as to what it's there for. But it's here. <laughs> so yeah, I've got all like the little, oh no. I think I've lost part of the, the bit that snapped. Oh. Oh. How have Oh, that's irritating because it means I won't be able to make it into a key ring if I've lost the bit that was... Oh, dear. Leah. I don't know what I've done there. Oh, that's devastating. I want to make it into a key ring. Oh, well. <sighs> I don't know if I message or email World of Cross Stitch and they might be able to send me another one. Because, you know, it's not as it should have been. I didn't snap it. It snapped itself. It was already snapped. That's disappointing. Hmm. Ah. Woe is me. Do you all feel sorry for me? I feel sorry for me. I'm not very well, so I feel even worse. <laughs> so that's that. I have no clue. I put it all together. I'll have a look, see if it's over by my area or over there. Never mind. Moving on. So. New starts. Ooh -hoo. I have two. <clears throat> Since we last spoke. Do I? 
had I started the slumber party, Sal, before we, before we, when we last spoke? I don't think so. I really need to write this stuff down. So, let me find it. I think it's in here. I've got all my bags set up today so I can just pull them out the bag and then put them back. That's the plan anyway. Is it in here? Yes. <laughs> I need some more project bags. I'm hoping I'm getting some for my birthday. Wink, wink. I don't know where I've actually got the colours for this, to be honest. I mean, it's probably knocking about in there somewhere, but never mind. So, I don't have a finished picture, I'm afraid, unfortunately. Can you tell how chaotic I am today? Check out this case. I still love this case so much. Oh, it's stunning. So, do you know what? I haven't done any prep. I haven't taken anything out of the Q-snaps or anything. <coughs> Excuse me, this is just a special brand of Chaos today, I'm not going to lie. So this is the Slumber Party Sal by Sewing Starfish. That is their Etsy shop name. And I started this on the 19th of March. I'm doing it on Coffee Craft Fabrics fabric. Told you I love Megan. It is linen. I didn't write down what count because I'm an idiot. I think it's probably 32 count because of the size of the stitches. And I'm doing this as a buddy stitch along with Julie from Peachy Stitcher, who is currently recovering from surgery. She donated a kidney to her husband. Well done. That is, um, that is like, so selfless. So we are really good friends online, and we're doing a buddy stitch along of it. And here is where I am with it. So I've done a bit of the frame. I'm not going to lie, this came out and it was like, you've got six weeks to do the frame. The, the, the first motifs come out in a week. So somehow I've procrastinated so much on it. I tell you, it's really difficult to stitch on because it's dark. I tend not to stitch on dark fabrics because it's a pain in the absolute bot. But it was said that this is the best fabric to stitch on for this sow. So I was like, fine, if I must. I <laughs> keep hearing my voice, it's so croaky. Give me an hour and I'll have no voice left. I have to tell my boss I'm money. I can't, can't telephone call anyone. I'm ill. I can't speak. So there it is. So I've started a little bit of like the frame. I do. I really like how much do them colours pop? They look utterly fantastic. So I've only done a small bit on this one. I, I do like it though. If I can find the colours, I'll stitch on it some more. But who knows where I've put them. If I had brains, by gum, we'd all be in trouble. I do enjoy it. It is tricky. It is hard to stitch on, like I say. And I've got some some thread poking through here. That shouldn't be there. I'm just going to try and poke it back. And trying to count on it is difficult as well. <coughs> but I think it's going to look epic when it's done. Like, just look at it so far. It looks really nice. Now, the thi I, I was debating getting some actual fabric for it, but if you remember me saying, I um, spoke to someone who was going to look at some fabric who just didn't ever bother to get back to me, and I kind of ran out of time, so I was like, I had this anyway, so I was like, oh, fine, I'll just stitch on this. So this needle mind is from Saw Looks Co, isn't it a beauty? And this one is from Historical Sampler Company, I like it. I did it because ice cream is obviously a nice slumber party kind of motif, so yeah. I'm enjoying this one. I kind of haven't really worked on it too much since, um, probably haven't picked it up in about two weeks, to be honest. But it is there. It's always there. I have been working on some other things, but I do enjoy it. I mean, scraps of felt to put under my Q-snap to keep it nice and tight. I do enjoy it. I'd love to show you the colour palette, but I'm not going to lie. don't know where I've put the colours. Eh, God, if I had brains, we'd all be in some kind of certain trouble. Tell you what I'll do, I'll get them out because I'm going to be showing them off and I'll just put that one back in because I'm done with that one for now. Do you know what? I try to be organised. I, I do try. Should we check the colours on actually? Oh, they're over there, man. They're in me Grogu bag. <sighs> wow, Leah. That's where they are, so I'm not even going to bother looking for them because I know where I've put them. Where is this? Here it is. Next up, I'm so annoyed. I wanted to have this one finished. 
this is the round robin that I've been doing with um, Jocelyn, Jules and Kerry. And I'll tell you what, I'll just take it out of its Q-snap because I want to show you it. So this is the last part of the round robin that I've been doing actually. This is the last one. There's only two, there's only, I've only got to finish this. I was hoping to finish it but I've been so ill that I haven't been stitching, which is when I would have stitched it. So, here are the two that have been completed by Jules and Jocelyn. Kerry didn't include the one she did, unfortunately, so I can't show you that one, which is a bit annoying, but never mind, because it hadn't been finished, apparently. So there's the two the other girls have done, the other ladies have done. So it's a... I'll get it out in a minute, I'll tell you what it is, actually, bear with me. So there's the two that's been done. I had a panic there that I was doing one that's already on here. So, it's a Vervico embroidery kit. It's, I mean, it's not. It says it's easy to embroider. It's not embroidery. <laughs> and it's like four different seasons. I'm doing, I have got a finished picture actually. Hold on while Leah tries to figure out how to do it. So, Yeah, it looks like my bird. I'm doing this one here. They're the two that's been done. And I think that's the one that Kerry must have done. So I don't know why it's called embroidery, because it isn't. It categorically isn't. But here's what I've done so far. I've only finished one bird. I was like, this is going to be a nice, easy finish. And I get to show it off before I send it off. I've got to do until May to do it, like the 1st of May. So I'm going to have to crack on now because I've got a whole other bird to do. <laughs> Let me have a look again. I have got to do a whole other bird, some flowers and some like wheat. It, it's probably not wheat but it looks like wheat. So I've got one bird, one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven flowers and two strings of wheat. Oh dear me. But that's where I am. So I'm 14 count Ada, it looks like it's just white Ada to be honest. I started it on the 1st of April and to be honest I'm probably not going to finish it until the 1st of May. So you won't see it again unfortunately but hey ho. I've been ill. What am I meant to do if I'm ill? So that is that one. And then I think we're on to the whips. Ooh yes. Ooh yeah. So I have a random act of kindness. I would like to give away my mandala peacock to somebody, whoever would like it. I'm not going to finish it. If somebody else would like to finish it for me, that's how far I am on it. You've only got to come around and do around the top, so like around here and down. If you want it, let me know in the comments and I'll pick, if there's more than one person who wants it, I will pick somebody, like a name out of a hat. I've got all the threads for it and everything. It is yours. I will not include the needle minder. Sorry, I really love it. But maybe I'll see if there's another one I can, I've got that I can give you. <clears throat> if you want it, tell me. I also will not include the um, project bag. Because it's my project bag. But I will have a clear one and I can put it in that. And I'll just send you it in that. But it's got the pattern. It has got all of the threads. Again, they won't come on the floss drops like I've got them. But I will have to put them back on the pattern card. <laughs> so if you want it, give me a shout. I'll cover the postage to send it to you and everything, of course. I expected I wouldn't expect you to pay that. But I'm not going to finish it. I don't have the... I don't, I don't, I don't want to finish it. It's lovely, but I don't want to finish it. So if anybody wants it, they want to finish it, they want to keep it, hang it up, go for it. So I have officially abandoned that one, unfortunately. <laughs> that It's not going to happen regularly, to be honest, but I was just like, uh, I'm not going to finish it. Right, where is this one at? Oh, I think it's in here. Next up is a surprising one that you probably aren't expecting. It is, and I'll take it off. It's Q-snap. I'll just put it back on. I've got a tang, I've got a thread on it, for God's sake. I hate having threads on because I like to give a nice clear 
kind of look at it. So, stick that in there. I didn't know what to work on last Sunday because I wasn't feeling very well. So, I was a bit like, oh, excuse me, I don't know what I fancy. I don't know what I want to stitch. I don't know what's kind of talking to me. I didn't fancy doing me mermaid. Me mermaid is, it's, it's not difficult, but it is trickier. It is, you know... It is a big stitch and you do have to have a lot of concentration for it and I struggle with concentration anyway. Thank you, Graham. So I was looking through what I had, my projects, and I was like, oh, I haven't stitched on this for ages. So here it's my Trick or Treat Sal by Lakeside Needlecraft. Designed by Cheryl McKinnon. I obviously started this with good intentions. I finished part one, as you can see, apart from the back stitch. Finished most of part two, again, as you can see, and then it kind of fell off a cliff. It became November and December. I was like, I can't stitch on Halloween in November. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so where I last was, I'd done trick or tr. So I did eat. I've done lots of eating this week because I've been ill. And I've worked along here and I've gone up here. And then I'm going to come back along here. Now, I like to start down here. And move up. I don't like to come this way on because of how I stitch. I always like to be moving to the right. To the left. <laughs> to the left. To the left. So I've got the fun task of trying to go all the way up here. And then come along here and match the whole thing up. And hope that I've counted this lot correctly. Yeah. Indeed. I loved stitching on this on Sunday. I was like, oh yeah, I was like, get it, get, let's do it. It looks so good. This is on Lakeside Exclusive Fabric. It's printed. Thank you to everybody who told me about that. It is Pumpkin. That's the name of it. And just look at the, like, the mottling effect. I love it. The black pops, the green pops, the purple pop, it all pops. The Mr. Skelly is glow in the dark. He's glow in the dark. And these are special threads. I hate them. I hate them. I absolutely hate them. They are so tricky to work with. You've got to have a knack to it. I use my thread gloss with them because of that fussy to work with. But I love it. I've still got to come all the way along here with one single stitch. All the way along. I'll do that one day. You know when you've got like where you don't want to stitch too much? You don't want to think too much about your pattern? That's just a nice easy thing that just comes straight across and do... Without having to refer it or pattern without having to do anything. So yeah, I'm ex I was excited to pick this up, you know. I was like, oh yeah. I haven't touched it for like five months and I was like, oh, the colour's lovely. It's not as big a pattern as I thought. It Like when I first started it, I was like, oh my God, this is huge because I'd only done small patterns. But now I'm like, this is actually quite small compared to like the mermaid and the princess birthday sal. So I was like, yeah, let's crack on with that. So there we go. And I haven't said yet, that is from Hoops and Crosses. Hoop Love Club. Hoop Love Club. That is from So Sophie Crafts. And the cauldron one is from Kate Blandford, who is my ultimate favourite. The tape, if you're wondering, is from So Sophie Crafts as well. I put it round all of my fabrics, unless they've been overlocked, which are overlocked. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which word it is. Overlocked, overlooked. Either way, Coffee Craft Fabrics, Megan, she does put that weird thread thing around all of hers so you don't actually need to put any tape on. But a lot of them just come with like like nothing, so you've got to like do something, otherwise the threads just peel apart like you wouldn't believe. So I'm very happy with that one. I started that, if I didn't already say, on the 16th of September. I kept going such good guns with it, but I want to get it finished now for Halloween. For next Halloween, so we can get it framed and up somewhere. I think it'll go lovely with the, the shining thing we've got here. So I'll tell you what, I'll put that there until I've finished showing off whatever's in the rest of that bag that I've got there. <clears throat> So that was really nice to stitch on. It was nice to do something a little bit different. Next up is the biggie. It's my maiden. Let's get her out. We love her here. Let me get the whole thing out. The whole shebang. And let me put the Halloween one back. By the way, 
I don't know how long this will be today. If it doesn't hit like an hour and a half, I'm not too bothered because I'm not very well. But we'll see how it. Oh, I've left a thread on here as well. <sighs> Do you know? And even worse, I'm going to have to go and put all these Q stamps back on once I've finished the video. <laughs> e so, with the Maiden, I have officially moved the Q snap. I have finished close to two pages, apart from some backstitching and beading and maybe the odd little bit. I have more or less finished two pages of the Maiden of Tabataha. I am so chuffed with my, with my work on her. Let me get her where you want to see her and get her in position. She's gorgeous. She's utterly gorgeous. I've missed stitching on her while I've been ill, I'm not gonna lie, because I love having the time to stitch on her. Get that thread out the way. So, I've chaos layer. Tell you what, move them just slightly over there. That over there. Just pop them on there for now. So, Maiden of Tubataha started around the 1st of January. Will I finish her this year? That is entirely up to anybody's interpretation. I truly don't know. There you go. Um, two pages down and four pages left to go. So I've done two pages in, say, three months. So I've got four pages left. That's potentially another six months, which is nine months. And then all of the beading and backstitch. I don't know whether to do the backstitching first or the beading first. So if anybody has any advice, I think Kat from Kat Ken and Lily did the backstitching first and is now beading her, her um, mermaid, um, Rossa. So I think I'll follow that method because Kat has never led me astray before. So this is being done on 32 count even weave. It's called Atlantis. It's opalescent and it's from Paul Stitches Designs. And oh, would you look at her! So as you can see, I'm getting so close here to like, I've done all of like a tail and we're coming down here. I've come down, so that's where I'm working on at the minute. I'm working on the down. We're just going closer and I'll just lift her up slightly. Oh, I love stitch on this. I wish I had an extra day off each week like I used to have. To stitch on her on a Wednesday as well because when I pick her up on a Sunday it is just not enough time because I just love stitching on her like I say she's difficult and complicated and you've got to be paying good attention but boy is it worth it look at that and yes I am admiring my own work thank you ah <laughs> oh, I just love it so much she's gonna be beautiful when she's done so we're coming down to do the tail bit and it like fluffs out even more so there's like more stuff over here and then we go up to do our body and our hands and stuff like considering it, it, it doesn't look like masses of work if you were to look at it but like the progress is very slow going it is tricky to make masses of progress on it because you've got to pay so much attention and count so carefully so like I'm proud of how I've done. I go slow. I don't rush this one. I don't rush any now. You know, cross stitching is meant to be a relaxing hobby. It's not meant to be let's all rush and go quickly and get it finished. It's why I don't have those counters on the Caterpillar Facebook group. They've all gone nuts with these counter things that go on the finger. I believe they're for yarn, for if you're crocheting, I think, or knitting. I'm not sure. Like to count your rows or something. I'm not sure. And they're like. Oh, I've done this many stitches in this day. Well, okay. But it's not a job. It's not a chore. It's fun. It's fun. So, yeah, I don't care. I'm happy with my progress. I think she looks amazing. I cannot wait to finish her and get her up. Ah, oh, she's just going to look so good. Ah. Oh. I can't wait to add the beads. I'm very excited to learn beading. I'm not sure how well I'll get on with it. I believe Kat said, again, Kat from Kat and Lily, that it's easier to use 28 count when you're beading, apparently, 
which is a bit of a bugger because I've used 32 count. And for the new lady, the new fancy lady that I'm going to be doing with Kat, she's doing a, a stitch along. I don't know who else with, to be honest. Do you know what it was? I part watched one of my videos last week and she showed the sorceress. And I was like, I've watched this already. But I don't think, I don't, I think I was confusing them and I think she's already showed it is why I was getting confused. So I need to go back and finish watching that video. I've started watching them on a Sunday when Graham plays Assassin's Creed. So it means I get to catch up a little bit. It's tricky because obviously Alison and Stephanie's cross Stitch Globes is like two hours long. So like if I'm watching one of them, that's the only thing I'm going to watch while Graham's playing Assassin's Creed. But last week I managed to watch Kat's video. I part watched one, fully watched another because I thought I'd seen it, but apparently I hadn't. I'm an idiot. An idiot. I watched Peachy Stitcher's new video and I watched Peacock Stitcher's new video. I say new, they were new to me when I was watching them last week. Kat has posted a new one this week. Peachy Stitcher won't have because like I say she's been going through some surgery. Katie from Peacock Stitcher said she was going to be posting them probably monthly now. Completely all power to her. It's better to do it less and show more then just come on every two weeks for the sake of it. You know, it, it's a lot better. So I need to finish actually watching that one. But either way, we're doing Gaia, the goddess of Earth. I've ordered some fabric, but I'm paranoid it isn't big enough, so I need to check and otherwise get in touch with Paul Stitches and be like, sorry, can I cancel that one and order a bigger one? Um, she's meant to be done on like a plain fabric, but I've gone for greenies. Now, it looked like it was all going to be pale green, to be honest, but I'm not so sure. Um, oh, tell you what, I'm just going to have to chuck that over there because I, I need to put it all back together. Otherwise, I'm not, it's not going to be ready for tomorrow. Um, I saw the plain fabric and I was like, I don't really like it. I'm not really a fan of it. It kind of doesn't blend as well. So I was like, do you know what? It should probably look really good on a greenie. So I saw a green one called Addiction by Paul Stitches Designs so I've ordered that but I think it's going to be more bluey than greeny and I wanted to think that was just green but we'll see we live and we learn I'll see what Megan puts up tomorrow on the coffee craft fabrics super Sunday fabric drop Whew. um and then we'll just go from there but Graham's going to get me that I'm waiting on Arts and Designs getting back to me they're going to put me together a bead pack for it which is really kind of them I got in touch and I was like can you do that for me pretty please <laughs> so I think the sauce and the beads for me now and hopefully I can get them so yeah I'm gonna be starting a new fancy lady I'm also gonna be starting a new caterpillar cross stitch stitch along as well don't tell Graham that I'm gonna be starting two things because I'm not meant to I don't it's tricky I don't want to because I want to focus on the ones I have and make good progress but on the other hand I'm very excited for these two stitches so my hands are tied I'm afraid my hands are just tied so obviously my mermaid lives in this mermaidy bag from Hot Trotter Stitches. I actually don't keep her in here. She just stays in the tote bag because the, the Q-snap's too big to actually go in here. But yeah, it's got all my bits and bobs in. Here is the finished design. So as you can see, I've come down here and I'm just like doing this flary bit here now. And then go up and do that. Like it doesn't look like a lot. When you look at it like that on such a small scale photo. But like there's loads to do. They're all my specialty fabric. Keep them all separate. This is the little notions pouch that comes with this bag. It's just got all the dupes of the colours in because some of them take more than one. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> it's my Sharpie. Because, as you know, I have laminated the pattern. So that means <clears throat> I can just mark it off with a sharpie and then hopefully remove that once I'm done to get all the back stitching and beading. And there's the colour palette. Like, it, I'm sorry, it's not perfect, but oh, it's just gorgeous. Blues and pinks and purples and dark blues and browns. Ah, oh, it's stunning. I have so much fun when I stitch this one on a Sunday. I'll be stitching it probably tomorrow. I'll see how I'm feeling, but I probably will be. We'll see though. Next up, now this one I have to get this finished ASAP because there's a new stitch along starting for Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery soon as well. So this is my 
Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, Princess Homecoming, Stitch Along, that I'm doing with Cross Stitch the Globe as the Princess Birthday Sal for the lovely Alison's birthday. So as you know, with this one, I started it on the wrong fabric. Well, I started it with the fabric the wrong way around, is what I did. I don't know why I'm keeping it, to be fair. I'm not going to unpick it, and I'm not going to sell the fabric. It's it's not very... Oh, it's li I, I don't like linen. I have come to realise that I don't like linen. It's in this North Pole bag. It's in a widely inappropriate bag, but I don't have another bag. For it, unfortunately, um, something Christmassy should really go in here. And this is from Hot Trotter Stitches. It has that. I need another bag for it, I'm not going to lie. But... Oh, I've got threads on here as well! <sighs> Why do I have threads? I don't usually leave threads on my projects. I am normally better than that. I don't like to anyway. Because then you pick it back up and you're like, well, where was I? What was I doing? Why do I have this random green thread? But never mind. I love this one. I've been stitching quite a bit on this one. And like I say, I need to get it finished because the lovely ladies, Amanda and Ashley at Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, have announced that the next stitch along is happening. It starts in May. So technically, I'm going to have three more projects to start in May. Oh, do you mean? That doesn't even include whatever I get for my birthday. <clears throat> um, and it is, the theme is Arctic animals. So like, oh, there it is. Think like polar bears and seals and, you know. Oh, sorry, I'm just having an absolute nightmare. There's a child having a meltdown outside. I don't know if you can hear him or her or it. <laughs> him or her. <laughs> I don't mean it. That was mean. I don't know. Somebody's just having a meltdown. Um, so they've got the announced the new stitch along on, I believe it was Thursday. I wasn't able to watch it because I was, you know, it was night time. It was like, it's like four o'clock Pacific time in America, which I think means it's like super late here anyway. And it's Arctic pet, Arctic animals. I am very excited. I've become a frosted pumpkin stitchery stan after doing this one because this one's so much fun. So I started this on the 6th of January. I was meant to be doing it on Velour Picture This Plus Cashel Linen, but I messed up. I'm kind of glad I did actually. It was kind of a happy accident because I got to do it instead on a coffee craft fabric. And here's where we are with this one. So I've officially gone halfway. So I've done a quarter is the best way to explain it. I'm into the second bottom half um, and I've done a quarter of it. And just look at it. And I'm back stitching as I go just to try and see if that's an easier process. Spoiler alert. It is. <clears throat> and just look at it. Oh, I love this so much. I love this. The Needle Minder is from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I do want to update it to a more appropriate princessy one, if I can find one. I have just ordered a couple of new Needle Minders, actually. I've got a Mermaid Tail coming from Stitchy Ferret, and one that says, Adulting, one star, would not recommend, again, from Stitchy Ferret. I don't know how long they take. I've ordered some fabrics from them, like I said, and some threads. They took a while to come. They're here now, and I'll discuss it more in haul. But here's my progress on this. I started it on the 6th of January, which was Alison's birthday. I love stitching this. This is so much fun. I'm doing it on 28 count coffee craft fabric. It's opalescent. I love a bit of opalescent. I am a sparkly kind of person, as you can probably tell. I love this. So we watched Only Fools and Horses last week, and I was stitching it while we were watching Only Fools and Horses. I so we also watched, what were we watching? Thelma and Louise was really good. By the way, we were watching that. I remember telling you about that. It was really, really good. That was such a good film. I thought Gina Davis, she, I didn't think she was the actress I thought she was. I thought it was the lady off Big Bang Theory who um, Sheldon has some run-ins with, but it's not. I think she's. I think she is called Gina, but her surname isn't Davis. But that was such a, that was such a good film. We've never seen it before, either of us. It was really good. Um... What did we watch last week? What did we watch last Saturday? Leave it with me, let me think on it. But I am so chuffed with this. 
do I wait and try and finish this before I start the new one or am I not going to be able to cope dreadful I am dreadful trouble is if I start three projects in May I am not going to be able to start anything else for the rest of the year not a chance not a hope in hell am I going to be able to do that so I need to think about it I need to not just be irrational and get it I'm going to get it anyway. I am definitely going to get it. That's, that's you know, not debatable in the slightest. I'm definitely going to get it. But whether I actually do it now or if I just keep it for to start. The trouble is, I don't want to end up... I want to actually keep track of them. I don't want to be, like, not able to keep up with the Frosted Pumpkin Citry ones now that I know that they were such a good um, company that I really like to do their designs of. I would like to actually do one in real time with everybody else. So we'll have to see on that, I'm afraid. There's all the colour palette for that one. It's a nice mix of different colours. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like I have to at least finish another stitch before I get into it. Start on three more, to be honest. I'll put that over there because I need to put it back on its cube snap. Uh, we shall see, eh? I'm not sure. Try and talk me out of it if you can, gang. By the way, I haven't found, I've forgotten Graham's. I'm doing his last because his is the best. His is the absolute best. He's, he's done such good work on his. This one. It is time for no time like the present. My friend finished hers. The ever so lovely Tan from Monogamous Cross Stitcher. She finished hers. She did it in like three months. Just, just shy of three months. She finished it at a retreat she was at the other week. Very jealous. Sounds like a nice time. But like I say, I'd only go if I was going with my plus tube friends and my like the, the friends I've actually made over here. I don't want to just go with a bunch of random people I don't know. Hers looks fab. She used some different fabrics and it looks really, really good. I'm going to have chaos putting these back together when I'm finished filming. <laughs> so this is the No Time Like the Present Stitch Along by Modern Folk Embroidery. I don't know how far I am actually. I should have had a quick look on the tablet just to clarify, but never mind, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna eat them straight over there because I'm gonna have to put them back on the gears up anyway. <laughs> Apologies for the mess. So I have made some good progress on this. It, you can't tell because it is so big. <laughs> but I swear I have. Look at that. So I came all the way along because I had a cow because I thought I wasn't going to have enough fabric and then I've entirely finished this little portion and I'm getting onto this and it's like an arch and it just, oh, look at it! Them colours are so complimentary, it is so lovely, I'm loving this and technically I'm kind of doing this the same way everybody else is, just a little bit different. This is an ongoing sell that you know you can do in chunks I'm doing it in different chunks, but I love stitching on this one. This is so much fun. This is the one I tend to pick up of an evening when we're watching Prison Break because it's nice light fabric. It's easy to see the holes. It is 32 count Murano Desert Even Weave, recommended by my lovely friend Katie at Peacock Stitcher. And it's from, oh dear me, Flora Needle Shell on eBay. I love this. I don't know how much I've done. I can't remember. I feel like I'm like 5 to 7%. Maybe I've breached 10%, but I'm not really sure, to be honest. And my L needle minder is from So Looks Go. I love it. I love this stitch so much. This is going to look so good when it's finished. I am obsessed with how it looks. And if you, as you can see, I have tried to tape it. And the fabric said no. So I need to try and re-tape it. I might do that today since I've actually taken it all off of it. Um, I've taken it all off, ready to put it back on. So I might just try and put some fresh tape on when I'm finished filming. I'll put that over there. I think I only have one more whip. She says. So this is the historical sampler company. All things grow with love. I'll be honest. I don't think I've touched this since I last shown, last showed it. But I'll show you it again. Because I've got it here anyway. So part three and part four are out now. It's all finished. They are starting a new stitch along designed by Emma Congdon. 
Now that's the one they said they were going to send me, but it looks like they've sent out the ones to other people and I haven't got one, so I'm not really fussed. So I finished part two, I just need to do part three and part four. Like I say, I haven't been stitching this week, so I haven't really had time to get to it. I think it's going to look nice when it's done. I do like this one. I started this on the 19th of February. I'm going to try and focus on this one. Once I get that round robin bird done, I'm going to focus on this one of an evening to try and get this one finished. Then it's off and, you know, the slate's clear. But yeah. <clears throat> I mean, there's like, I've got two more birds to finish, and then there's two more other birds <laughs> in the last part as well. It's just birds all, bird central. But yeah, I do like that. I like the look of the new cell, but I'll be honest, I can't, I have no capacity to be able to do it. If they were to send me it, I would do it, but I have no capacity to buy it and do it. It's, you know, it would be irresponsible of me with all the ones I have. All the ones I want to do, you know, it's it's not really great. So maybe it's for the best I didn't get it. I would have bought the PDF to be honest if it wasn't fifteen pound. Let's not get into that. But I would have. So you can go in there with that one. I think that's all my. It is. That's all my whips. So that means. I have somebody else's whip to show. Oh, I'm excited to show. Uh, do you know what? I get more excited to show Graham's progress than I do my own, honestly. <laughs> I, I honestly do. Oh, that's a random bit of thread. Stick that away. This is a skull bag from Hot Trot Stitches. She was meant to be making me. The person from Hot Trot Stitches was meant to be making me a custom case for Graham. A, um, oh, I'll tell you what, I might replace that tape for him actually, it's a bit mucky. Um, I asked if she could try and do him a floss drop packet. Now I did get one somewhere else, but like last thing I know she was working on it for me and I never heard back. That happens quite often, I find, you know, and I understand, you know, they're all small businesses doing the best. Yada yada, I completely understand, but like, surely, surely, customer communication is key. Uh, you know, I don't always get it, to be honest. If I had a small business, even if it was just me running it, or me and Graham, I would at least make sure I'm corresponding with people and letting them know. Like, if somebody asks me for something specific, I'd be trying to like let them know what's actually going on with it. So I've kind of just left it because I hate I hate prodding people. I hate poking people and being like, so have you done it? Have you done it? It's rude. If I've asked you to do something, I'm going to leave you until you do it. I'm not just going to chase you endlessly. I did chase her at one point and she was like, I I've tried one, attempted one, but it wasn't very big, so I need to attempt another one. So I was like, right, fine, yeah, just take your time, blah, blah, blah. I haven't heard from her for about two months. <laughs> so... <laughs> Not good experiences, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm gonna have a drink. Mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get this wrapped up relatively quickly because I'm losing my voice. I've got a lot to do. So, this is I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and do a big reveal on it. This is the Chopping Mall Stitch Along by Witchy Stitcher. It's not a current stitch along. It was it was it was a few years ago. This is Graham's first ever stitch. He's been working on it since like October, November time. And oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Are you ready to see it? I get so excited to show this one because he's such a good little stitcher. Ready? Drum roll. Boom! Look at that! Look at it! <clears throat> so he's finished all of the bottom of the floor, as we know. He's finished the first row of shops, the second row of shops, and he's on the last row of shops before he has to do the um, the roof. I don't know where we were last time, to be honest. He was probably was up here anyway. He hasn't had a lot of stitching time so far this month. And he's doing this window now with Chucky and Tiffany. He's not a big fan of it, I'm not going to lie. It's not his kind of colour scheme. He's not a pastel colour kind of person. Um, 
So yeah, he's got that shop to do, and then there's one more, and then he's got to do the roof. And hopefully it all fits on this bit of fabric. Hopefully. Look at how good this is. Ah. Oh. This is, you know, you can see really good progress because he's only stitching on one stitch. And it's just, it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. I'm sorry you had to wait an hour to see it, Graham. <laughs> I just, it's so good. I like to leave it as the best to last and this is the best. He's doing such a good job on it. There's no backstitch being done. We'll do that last. But he just, he loves it. Like I say, he's not having a good time with this window. But he's going to get it done. He's got about half an hour left of stitching on it. And then that's done. And ah. Uh, the day I show this off is finished will be epic. Honestly, it will. So, needle minders. So looks cool. Enchanted Needleworks. Kate Blanford. Fun fact. We got, we've got matching ones for both of those. One of these, mine or his, was meant to be gold, but they both came silver. So I was like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wasn't, I'm not that kind of fussed enough to like, to like, whinge about it or anything. It's absolutely fine. Look at that. So this is like, we're in April now. So say three months, because it's only beginning of April. So three, like six months work, if that. And you know, he doesn't stitch every day. He gets a bit of stitching time. Oh, sorry, I've knocked the camera. He gets some stitching time if he finishes at eight o'clock at work because it's quiet. If he works a Saturday, he gets... Like nine to one he gets to stitch because it's quiet if we stitch on a sunday so we get a couple of hours on a sunday evening after dinner and then depending on whether he watches one prison break or two he usually gets about half an hour in the evenings as well but we're going to be so because the clocks have gone forward we're going to be starting going out for little evening walks so we'll be doing that so yeah ah <sighs> It was worth the wait, Graham. It was worth the wait. I'm never sure whether to show it first or last, but to be honest, his is the best one. I'm not I'm not devaluing my work at all. Oh, man's is better. I just really love his progress and I love to shout about it and tell everybody about it. I think he's just, he does so well with it. It looks so good. It's on 14 count fabric. I don't know what fabric. It's a joie got of some kind. I'm just not really sure. But that's Graham's. Ugh. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm not very well. Please feel bad for me. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to put it all back together now. So, plans before I get into haul. <clears throat> I don't have many. I don't have many. Like I say, I'm planning to start some in May. <laughs> Slightly deranged smile there. Um... But we're gonna, I'm going to see. I'm going to see how I get on. I don't really want to be starting. And then, you know, I've got no time to do it. But I've got to get that round robin done. And I've got to get that historical sample one done. And that'll be two off my board. The peacock as well. If somebody wants that, let me know. And you can have it. So there's three off the board, really. So they only have, you know, five? Four? I don't know. So, ugh, let's get into purchases. I just need to quickly have a quick look. Because I didn't write down who this actually came from. So just bear with me a minute. She had to go onto Instagram. So. Da, da, da. So, Tan, I, do, I get everything from other people. Tan from the Monogamous Cross Stitcher posted on Instagram about buying this device here. And I was like, what is this? And can I have this? Turns out this is for measuring thread. So it's from Cheryl at crossstitch underscore crazy on Instagram and she makes them to sell. And what you do is you put the thread by the hole here because there's a little hole. So you hold your thread by the by the hole and then you do like, like as she's done here, like an X shape. So you go from there to there, from there to there. And then you snip it by the hole and you will have a metre of thread. Now I love this because I've got a couple of tape measures that I'm constantly losing. So I like the idea that I can just have this within my little stitching area. I can get a skein of thread, take it all out, measure it all up, cut it, and then wrap it on the bobbin. Or flush drop. So yeah, I love that. That cost me... Let me have a look, see if I remember how much... 
£16 including postage and because I thought it was so reasonably cheap I sent 20 because I was like no <laughs> so there we go handy little tool I haven't used it yet since I've got it because I haven't had any thread to actually do it with but yeah very chuffed with that I can't wait to use that um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch are starting a new stitch along in May. It's the North American Adventure and it's companion to the British Isles stitch along. So here that is. I ordered it on Thursday. It became available on Thursday. They dispatched it on Thursday and I received it on Friday. So, oh god. I haven't got the needle minder. It's a taxi. It's a New York taxi cab. I apologise, I thought it was in here. I've just gone for the 14 count, same as the UK stitch along. There is another mappy one that is companion. I can't wait to do that as well. I'm going to have to get that at some point. But yeah, very quick, rapid dispatch. And I got it with my £10 off for the Caterpillar Cross Stitch um, Members Club. I won't be doing that again, to be fair. <clears throat> it's not worth it. I don't buy as, much, as, as many, so... Can't wait to start stitching that. I wish I had the needle minder, but I forgot to bring it. And then the last bit of stuff I got was some fabrics and threads from the Stitchy Ferret. So she did a five a Friday, and this was like the beginning of March. It only dispatched at the very end of March. And it was one of those horrible tracking numbers where they'll only let you know once it's delivered. So it shipped on the Saturday, and I didn't receive it for like a week. It was free shipping, I, put, I, I bought enough for free shipping, but like, I feel like you should put a proper tracker number on. I hate those tracker numbers where you can't see where it is, you don't know if it's gone missing. So I got two bits of fabric, 14 count, this nice blue colour here, opalescent, you can't really see, but it is. And this kind of like mixture, coffee, beige kind of colour, again opalescent, they were £5 each. Are they worth £5 each? <laughs> is another matter you get some plain dmc quite like maybe double the size for five pound but i thought i wanted to try it i wanted to see how how they were they're quite stiff like i say but i think i could find some nice little projects for them and then i ordered some thread so i got a borealis which is this gorgeous you know aurora borealis type color i went for fruit salad an orangey colour. I got Twilight. I like this one. And finally, Andromeda. They're all 20 metres long. I don't know what I'll use them for, to be honest. I'll probably figure something out. We'll see. Again, the threads themselves feel a bit... Um, not as soft than some of the... To be fair, I haven't used a lot of hand-dye flosses apart from silk, so maybe that is actually why. But yeah, I'm excited to use them. A little bit disappointed with the whole processing system. I was like, how long? There was no expectation. I didn't know if did these have to be hand-dyed. These websites tend not to actually put on the process. Like, if you're buying it, is it ready to go? Do you have to wait for it to be dyed? They need like a little bit of an FAQ expectation kind of page, personally. That's all, that's all I've bought. It's a tiny little rant. I understand small businesses, I don't mind waiting, I am patient. But it's just more like, you don't actually know. You pay this money for something, you don't actually know if and when it's going to come. But I've bought a couple of needle minders, I don't know how long they'll take to come. I was hoping they would have come quite quickly, I was hoping they would like already be kind of ready. But we'll see, I'm very excited for them anyway. And that is me. That is me. So I'll be watching some vlog tubes tomorrow. I know Kat from Kat and Lily has a new one up. I'll be watching that. Alison and Stephanie will probably have quite a few up because they seem to post weekly. Even maybe a couple of times a week. Maybe I'm not sure. I'll be catching up on that. And there's a Julian Stitches that I've been dying to watch. So I'll be watching that one as well. So I've been going for an hour and 15. Maybe like close to an hour and 20. I've got some other bits to do I need to go and do the fishing tourney on Animal Crossing I know first world problems in it <laughs> Graham will be back shortly with Summer from the walk I need to put all them back on and sort out I need Graham to sort out I'll put some new tape on get them all back and ready to stitch I need to decide what I'm stitching today I feel like doing a bit of stitching 
I was going to do some last night, but I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. I'll just do a bit of Animal Crossing. It's fine. Ah, that's me. That's another whip parade. Hopefully I'll have some more to show next. Oh, I will definitely have because it's going to be my birthday. <laughs> there will definitively, definitively be more to show because it's going to be birthday haul. Oh, the electric just went off. That was so bizarre. I was like, oh, is the camera going to go off? I was like, no, it's not late, you tool. <laughs> that was weird. That was very weird. I'll keep an eye on that. It's going to be no good if we haven't got any electric. We're planning to watch Superman today. We're not planning. We're going to watch Superman today. Graham got the... It looks like a two-pack Blu-ray, but it's not. It's just the extended cut and the normal cut. But it, it looks like it's two different films. It's very bizarre. And do you know what? I can't for the life of me remember what we watched last week. I remember Graham couldn't decide what he wanted to watch because he hasn't been feeling well. He's actually been to the doctors this week because he's had a blocked ear for two weeks. We didn't know if it was related to the cold or COVID or whatever it is that he had. So he went to the doctors. We had a ring at 8 o'clock in the morning to get an appointment. It's such a poor system. I'm not going to run about it, but it's such a poor system. Like, the closest normal appointment was, excuse the, the printer's having a meltdown, the first normal appointment was three weeks away. And yet, you know, you've got to then call for an emergency appointment. What he has isn't an emergency, but you tell them otherwise you can't get in for three weeks. Make it make sense. But it is, because, like, you can't hear. But, like, what do you class as an emergency? You know, it just makes absolutely no sense. It's so annoying. Anyway, he went to the doctors, <laughs> and he's got too much wax in his ear. So, it's not related to the cold, which is annoying, but at least we know and they can't do it at the surgery now apparently that's not a thing as far as i'm aware it used to be a thing but it's not now so he has to either go to Specsavers and pay 60 pound to have it tubed out or something or he can get some olive oil drops twice a day put them in and see if that softens it all up so that's what we've gone for because paying 60 pound off the bat is a bit ridiculous if we can resolve it ourselves so yeah so he didn't know what he wanted to watch last week because he wasn't feeling good so he played assassin's creed for a little bit and then he put on It was, oh, what was it called? I can't remember its name, but it had my favourite in, Mr. Mr. Cagney. James Cagney. I forgot what it was called, though. I've forgotten. I remember it because it had James Cagney in, but I forgot what it was actually called. It's gone, I'm afraid. I'm not going to be able to tell you. <laughs> hey, bye, hell manic. Hey, God. But I was probably panicking because I was like, what did we actually watch? What did we watch? I watched the Man United game on um, Sunday. I am a Man United fan in case. I don't know if I've ever spoken about it. We don't watch masses of football at the minute. He supports Newcastle and I support Man United. I like Newcastle as well, to be fair. They've had a bit of a rubbish season, to be honest. So have we. I mean, Jesus. Let's not talk about it. But I watched the Liverpool game. And we drew 2-2. We were 2-1 up. And we gave away a penalty at the end. It was the right result, to be honest. Liverpool didn't deserve to lose. They should have been 3-0 up before we even had a chance to come back, but they're just pants. The goal for the for the um goal for the quadruple. Um They lost in the conference league or the Europa League, 3-0 at home. Obviously the title is tight between Man City, Arsenal and Liverpool. I'm supporting Man City, by the way, because I don't like Arsenal either. I don't I don't like Man City. Do not even think I like Man City. They're just the best of a worse bunch. Um, they've won the Carlin Cup, didn't they? It's not called that anymore, but to heck if I know what it's actually called. The Carabao Cup. Um, are they still in the FA Cup? I just don't know. I we both used to be massive football fans, and you know we do still watch it. We you know we pay for Sky Sports, and there's no nuffle on, so we're gonna watch it. But like. When your team's not doing so great, it's just like, ugh. And out my team isn't. Oh, God. We kind of bloody, honestly. We win the random games and then we lose the obvious games that we should win. And I'm not saying we should win or deserve to win, but, like, you know, we go up a few goals and then, you know, it all falls apart. Anyway, who wants to hear about that on a cross stitching channel? <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to go and get tidied up. I'm going to sort everything out. 
I hope you all have a lovely week. I'll be back in a fortnight with the magazine flip throughs. It didn't get that many views last time. I don't think people love it as much as the whip parades, but I don't mind. I enjoy doing that video. Um, I apologise for not responding to all the comments. Obviously, I was unwell. I... I've spent the week off social media. I only just posted my first Instagram post in about two weeks. Um, yesterday, on Friday. Um, I've just been ill. I've just been playing Animal Crossing. I've just been trying to rest. And, you know, I've been off my phone and stuff. So that's why I'm not being rude. I just haven't been very well. I'm still not very well. So have a lovely week, everyone. Have a lovely two weeks, rather. I'll see you in two weeks for a new flush tube. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, please do. If you are watching but you haven't subscribed to me, please do. I'm well over 600 now. I'm motoring on towards 700. I'm very excited to get up to 1,000. I'll do a nice another big giveaway then. And yeah, have a lovely fortnight. I'll see you all soon. Bye.